Hi class, let us start the third sharing session about the engineering professional bodies. Building failures and side fatal accidents are common in the construction industry. Construction site accidents account about 10% of the total accidents to general worker in general. Series of landslide and building failures either during construction, occupation or demolition has created the great concern to the public with wide publicity in the press. For example, few major incidents happened in Penang for the past few years are like the Granito landslide issue and also the Penang Perut temporary slope landslide issue. These incidents not only cause the loss of money, also the loss of life or physical injury. Okay, actually correct direction is very important because wrong direction will make the condition worse. Only the correct direction can lead us to the correct final conclusion. As such, correct direction is more important than just hardworking. Because if we are hardworking towards the wrong direction, it will bring us to the worst, even worse condition. The Board of Engineer Malaysia, or we call it as BM, has formed a working group to study the whole supply chain of the construction industry, to look into the stages of development against the stakeholders involved, relevant laws or policy related to it, possible causes of failure and recommendation. They also performed the literature review on the past cases of the building failure to learn from the past mistake. This working group is headed by the IR Tan Yen Ching, Chairman of the Professional Practice Committee of the BM, with representative from the construction industry as per below list. Okay. From here, we can see that the three most related to us as a civil engineer are IEM, Institute of Engineer Malaysia, ACM, Association of Consulting Engineers Malaysia, and BEM, Board of Engineers Malaysia. So subsequently, we are going to discuss about these three professional body. Engineering professional body in Malaysia are as per below. BM, which founded in 1972, IEM founded in 1959, and the ACM founded in late 90s. The first one and the most important one to all the engineers is Board of Engineer Malaysia, or we call it BM. BM is a statutory body constituted under the Registration of Engineer Act 1967 with perpetual succession at a common sale which may sue and be sued. It was formed in 23rd of August 1972. BN4 within the ambit of responsibility of the Ministry of Work. Best with right power, the Minister may suspend the operation of the Registration of Engineer Act 1967 in any part of the Malaysia by notification in the Gazette. The appointment of the board member and the registrar is made by the Minister of Works. Through its mechanism of control, BM has taken upon itself to reclassify the engineering work, streamline the scale of fee, and amend the Engineers Act to reflect the pragmatic needs of engineers and engineering industry. For example, the latest amendment of the Registration of Engineer Act 1967 was made on 1st April 2007 to meet the challenges of globalization and companion trade liberalization. Okay, from here you can see that actually the word of Registration of Engineer Act 1967 keep repeating from paragraph one paragraph to another paragraph. So what actually is the Registration of Engineer Act?
Actually, you can find the detailed copy of this registration of engineer act from the BEM website. Okay. So uh, the registration of engineer act basically is the Bible for all the engineers. What can we do and what can uh, we not supposed to do are stated very clearly inside this uh, registration of engineers act. So the objective of the BEM are as per below, to enforce the implementation of continuing professional development or the professional engineer, either you with the practicing certificate or without practicing certificate, need to comply to the requirement of CPD. For those professional engineer with practicing certificate, they need to collect minimum 50 CPD per year or 150 CPD for the continuous three years. While for the professional engineer without practicing certificate, they are required to collect minimum 25 CPD per year. Okay. Another objective of the BM is to act more function and advise the government and public to strengthen the penalty in the Registration Engineer Act 1967 to strengthen the suspension period, introduction of new part that deal with the establishment powers and conduct of proceeding of a disciplinary committee. BM also act, take action on submitting engineer related to CCC or others. Uh, this CCC actually is referred to the Certificate of Completion and Compliance or last time we call it SOC, Occupational Certificate. BM also impose additional condition to ensure engineers follow the latest development. The vision of the BM is to be a highly respected and authoritative body that ensure public interest and safety in engineering. While the mission for BM is to ensure the engineering service provided in the country are of high quality, delivered with due diligence, conforming to professional ethics and benchmark to the best practices. This is the client chapter for BM. All matters pertaining to the registration of engineers shall be processed within a stipulated time frame. BM shall actively participate in activity related to engineering profession in tandem with other government agency or interested party. All complaints and inquiries received from the public related to engineering service shall be attended to expeditiously. Basically, BM consists of 17 board members comprising of uh, one president, 14 professional engineers from various sectors, with five from the public sector, five from private practice, two from local authority or statutory authority, another two from the private sector, full-time employment. They also have one representative of the Board of Architect Malaysia or we call it PEM, and one representative of the Board of Quantity Surveyor Malaysia. Board members, all are professional engineers, professional architect, and professional quantity surveyor of high standing and less experience as in the opinion of the Ministry of Work and are able to render service and contribute towards the end. The appointments are by the Ministry of Work under the Section 3 of the Registration of Engineers Act, 1967. The Secretary and the Registrar who are professional en engineers shall be the ex-officer member. Functions according to the Section 4 
of the Registration of Engineer Act 1967 under the revision of 2007. The first one is to keep and to maintain the register. The board shall keep and maintain a register which shall be in five parts. Part A, which shall contain the name, address and other particulars of professional engineers. Part B, which shall contain the name, address and other particulars of graduate engineer. Means after you graduate from UITM, you shall register to the BM under this Part B as a graduate engineer before you can carry out your work as an engineer. Part C, which shall contain the name, address and other particulars of temporary engineers. This temporary engineer actually is referred to the foreigner engineers who came to Malaysia to carry out their work as an engineer. Although it's just for a short period or just a temporary, but they still need to register with the Board of Engineers in order for them to carry out the task as an engineer. Part D, which shall contain the name, address and other particular of the engineering consultancy practice, means all the CNS consultants need to register under this part. While the director for the company of CNS consultant shall register under the Part A. Part E, which shall contain the name, address and other particular of accredited trackers. Second function of PM is to process the application for registration. BM through its examination and qualification committee conducts professional assessment examination or we call it as PAE to assess the quality of experience gained by the graduate engineer and their competency. Every application for registration, be it as uh, graduate engineer, professional engineer, engineering consultancy practice or temporary engineer is scrutinized truly by the application committee to ensure compliance with the act and with the policy of BM. The application to register as a credit checker will be assessed by the accredited checkers committee. Means after you graduate, if you want to register yourself as a graduate engineer, or maybe later after you pass your uh, PAE and you want to upgrade yourself to the professional engineer or you want to open a CNS consultant firm or you are foreigner, uh, foreign engineers came from other country, you are required to submit your application to BEM. BEM will process the application then table in the meeting. After get approval from the meeting, then we only can officially register as graduate engineer, professional engineer, CNS consultant firm, or as a temporary engineer or foreign engineers working in Malaysia. BN also apply restriction on practices of bodies cooperate with an aim that engineering consultant C service provided by this body corporate will be done professionally for the benefit of the client and public. Restrictions are also imposed on the temporary engineers. Means although you are the foreign engineers, maybe come from Indonesia, Singapore or elsewhere, you also need to follow the rules and regulation inside the Registration of Engineer Act. Okay. The third function of the BM is to carry out the assessment of academic qualification. As all we know, university or the higher learning institution are the place to produce the civil engineer to carry out the civil engineering work in the real working life. Thus, the quality of the students or the academic of the higher learning institution is very important to ensure that later our society got quality engineers. BM through the Engineering Accreditation Council conducts accreditation of engineering degrees program 
offered by institutions of higher learning within Malaysia. Accreditation is done through the evaluation panel from academic and industry practice. Whose members are appointed by EAC, means the Engineering Accreditation Council. The accreditation panel shall visit the institution to evaluate the curriculum, facilities and the quality management system and have dialogue with the management, academic and support staff, students and industry stakeholders. The period of full accreditation shall be five years after which it has to be revalidated. Where there are minor shortcomings in the meeting, the accreditation requirement, the program may be given accreditation for a period of less than five years, during which the faculty must take necessary corrective measure. This accreditation is five years once, but if during the accreditation, they found out that uh, there are some part or some issues for the institutions of higher learning need to further improve. Then they will carry out the accreditation more frequent, which is less than five years for the next accreditation. Prior to conduct of a new engineering program, institution of higher learning shall obtain approval from the relevant authorities. The authority normally will require supporting document from the EAC. Means if you want to open a new college or a new university for institution of higher learning, you need to make sure that the institution of higher learning shall get the supporting document from the Engineering Accreditation Council before you can offer any new engineering program. The fourth function of PM is to regulate the conduct and the ethics of the engineering profession. Since its inception in 1972, BM has been the medium for the engineers to decide on matters relating to their professional conduct or ethics. Any matter concerning the professional conduct of registered engineer will be studied by the BM to determine whether there is a breach of professional ethics or work. If the need arises, BM will carry out investigation to establish whether there is a prima facie case against a registered engineer for contraventing the act. The procedure to follow as per, this, as per described in the section 15 of the Act. If there is a breach of professional ethics of code of conduct on the part of the engineer, but such breach is not serious enough to warrant suspension or cancellation of registration, appropriate action such as warning, censure or advice will be taken by BM as deemed fit. Such measures shall be viewed by the engineers at large as a concerned effort on the part of the BM to write the black sheet of the engineering fraternity. Okay, from here we can see that actually BM is acting like a police to monitor and to ensure that all the professional engineers carry out their work properly under the guideline inside the Registration of Engineers Act. The fifth function of PM is about the on the issue of dispute on professional conducts and ethics. BM through its professional practice committee here and determine dispute relating to professional conduct and ethics of registered engineer. BM also fixed the skill of fees. In this respect, the skill of fee committee of the BM continue to have dialogue sessions with the Treasury of Malaysia on issue involving mode of remuneration, quantum and condition of payment. 
the detail on this skill of fish uh, actually you also can download it from the website of the bm okay the function number seven for bm they also act as a stakeholder bm to be a stakeholder in the contract for professional engineer service when they are request function number eight for bm is on the publication the publication committee of bm undertakes the task of promoting engineering profession through the engineer and other printed materials the engineers for issue as per year which publish in the month of march june september and december of every year is used as a communication tool for bm to disseminate information on activities of the board regulation code of ethics career development update and guideline and such over news as decided by the bm actually for every issued magazine they got a special title to discuss on this is a quality and a good reading material if you are interested actually you also can download the magazine from the bm website function number nine of board of engineer is to promote the continued learning and the education bm has set certain guidelines in connecting with the financial assistance provided BM will consider providing financial assistance to a seminar or conference which is organized by a non-profit making organization. The seminar or conference must be technically one that will benefit the registered engineer. The promotion of continued learning and education does not stop there. BM will also consider giving grant to selected type of study related to engineering or contribute prices for selected competition also related to engineering in order to keep abreast with changing uh, technology bm encourages all registered engineers to continually improve themselves through the continuous professional development or cpd program this cpd program actually is compulsory all the professional engineer if they want to continue renew their license annually they need to accumulate the sufficient cpd point in order for them to do so end of every year okay now we go to the institute of engineers malaysia or we call it as i am i am established in 1959 its primary function is to promote and advance the science and profession of engineering in any or all of its disciplines and to facilitate the exchange of information and ideas related to engineering. The governing body is the council, headed by the president. The affairs of the council are carried out by the executive committee comprising the president, Deputy President, seven Vice President, Honorary Secretary, Honorary Treasurer, and five members elected from the Council. Operations are supported by a full time Secretariat. <coughs> Membership of the IEM is currently about 23,000 people, and the growth rate is about 10% per year making it become one of the largest professional organization in the country. Most of the member for IEM are from CNS, then followed by MNE. In order to support the need of member, the IEM has a standing committee to attend to the different administrative functions of the institution. In order to support the multidisciplinary needs of engineering practice, there are 18 technical division and three special interest groups to look after and to organize activity for the different disciplines. 
There is also, there is also a graduate and student session that caters exclusively to the young girl members. So I believe you all are part of the member for the GNS section. Okay. What's the vision and mission for IEM? The vision for IEM is to be the premier, premier professional organization pivotal achieving vision 2020. Of course, now this vision, we need to extend it maybe to 2030. And the mission for the IEM is to promote sound professional engineering practice in support of the social economic development sub objectives of the nation. The second mission is to serve the needs and the interests of its member and the public and uphold the social standing image of the engineering profession. The third mission is to contribute towards the nation building and shall strive to enhance society's consciousness of science and technology. The function of IEM is a society established to promote and advance the science and profession of engineering in any or all its disciplines and to facilitate the exchange of information and ideas related to engineering. This is the objective for IEM. First one is to hold meetings, exhibition and visit and such other activities as the institution may deem incidental or conductive to the promotion or attainment of the profession of engineering. Second objective is to raise the character and status and advance the interests of the profession of engineering and those engaged therein. The third objective is to promote the honorable practice and professional etiquette among members of the institution. The fourth objective is to communicate to the member information on all matters affecting the profession of engineering and to print, publish, issue and circulate such publication as may seem conducive to any of the objective of the institution and the fifth one is to do such other things as the institution may think incidental or conducive to the attainment of the objective of the institution. <coughs> Lastly, we are going to talk about the Association of Consulting Engineers Malaysia. Like the IEM, ACM is not the compulsory organized, uh, professional organization for all the engineers to join. This ACM actually is a non-profit limited company incorporated under the Companies Act in 1963. The affairs of the ACM are governed by their memorandum and articles of association. The philosophy of ACM is that the members should uphold high principle and establish themselves as elite group of unbiased professional engineer who can trust to give independent and unbiased professional service, which is completely unfettered by the possibility of conflict of interest arise due to a consulting engineer's excessive involvement in the business or other commercial ventures, especially with his or her nature of work. So basically, this ACM, the targeted member are those engineers who work with the consultant firm. The objectives for the ACM is to ensure that consulting engineers undertaking to advise on the engineering methods shall fully qualify engineers in their respective fields and should act in all professional methods in a strictly fiduciary capacity to their client. 
to advise the public on engineering methods for design and supervising the construction of engineering work. And then the third one is to deal with the science and the problem of engineering, which are of equal interest to all engineers. The association strictly confines its attention to matters affecting the status, professional conduct, emolument, and the general interests of those engineers who had adapted consulting work as their profession. Okay, so this is basically the summary of the importance and the roles of the professional body. From here, we can see that BM is the most important uh, professional body and all the engineers shall register with it. Once we start to work as an engineer, then the second one is the IEM. IEM actually is a society which act as a supporting platform for BM to carry out the activities and to promote the awareness on the engineering. Then the third one is ACN, which most concentrate on the consulting engineering issue. Thank you.